Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 41. Today we'll talk about a concept called prime factors. Let's, let's get going then. Prime factors. Now, in order for us to understand what prime factors are, we first have to have a thorough understanding of what prime numbers are, which numbers count as prime numbers and which numbers are not prime numbers, something that we covered on day number 19 and 20. If you have not watched those two videos, watch those two videos first, pause this one, stop this video, watch 19 and 20 first, make sure you're able to recognize prime numbers, because of course prime factors relate directly to prime numbers obviously. Let's get going. By the way, before we start uh, actual uh, doing the actual numbers, I just want to point it out to you that Factors are also sometimes referred to as divisors. Divisors and factors, they are one and the same, they are synonymous. Now, let's first list factors of 6. Factors of, factors of 6. Factors of 6 simply means all the number that we can divide 6 evenly into. 6 can be divided evenly by 1. Whenever, whenever somebody asks you to give the factors of the numbers, always make sure that you start your list with 1, and always make sure that you end your list with the number itself. Because any number is divisible evenly by the number itself, giving you 1. And any number, of course, is going to be evenly divisible by 1, giving you the number itself. And then you list all the others. 6 can also be divided by 2. 6 can also be divided by 3. What else? That's it. We're done. So if somebody asks us for the prime factors, if we are asked to find the prime factors of 6, prime factors are very simple. You, go, you just go through the list. The list was... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 6 are the, are the factors of, of, uh, of 6, and therefore the prime factors of 6 are simply 2 and 3. That's it. Prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Those are the only two numbers that happen to be prime number that we can divide 6 evenly by. Let's do one more. Prime factors of... Prime factors of, let's say 10. Let's do 10. Prime factors of 10. The factors of 10 are, factors of 10 are going to be all the numbers that we can divide 10 evenly into, as we already said. 10 can be evenly divided by 1, 10 can be evenly divided by 2, 5, and 10. These are the factors of 10, and therefore the prime factors, the prime factors of 10. Once we have the list of all the, all the factors of 10, we just simply locate the prime numbers out of those, and that's simply 2 and 5. Those are the two prime factors of 10. How about 14? Prime factors of 14. Prime factors of 14 are, well, again, since we're talking about 14, as always, as always, we're going to start our list with 1, and we're going to end our list with the number itself. And of course, neither of them counts as a prime factor, because they're not prime, because you, this number, of course, is not a prime number. Then we'll have 14 can be evenly divided by 2, it can be evenly divided by 7, and I think that's it. That's the end of it. Those 14 has, 14 has 4 factors, out of it only 2 of them are prime, 2 and 7. Let's do one more. How about 18? Prime factors of 18. Prime factors of 18. Again, we're going to list all the factors of 18 first. 18 can be divided by 1 evenly. It can be divided by 2. 18 can be divided by 3. And then 6. And then, and then 18 itself. And at that point, we go back over our list and list all the prime factors. 2 and 3 are the prime factors of 18. Let's do one more. How about 100? Now that's a tricky one. 100. Now 100, since we've been doing, since we've been making a list of all the factors, so that's what we're going to do first. First we're going to list all the factors, all the factors of 100. And then we'll see what happens when we try to look at the prime factors. So 100 can be divided by 1, 2, we can divide 100 by 4 evenly, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, no, 10, uh, 
15, 20, uh, up to 20, 25, 50, and 100. Out of all the factors that we see here, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, and 100, how many do you suppose are prime numbers? The prime factors of 100 are simply 2, 2 and 10, 2, or rather 2 and 5, 2 and 5. And now I'm going to show you why that is the case, how, in other, rather, how we could have figured out the prime factors of 100 without actually having to make the list. For example, let's make it interesting. How about prime factors of 100,000? Let's start with 100 first so that we keep it simple. If we want to find the prime factors of 100, what we, need, what, we, what we had to realize, instead of doing all the work that we just did here, what we had to realize is that 100 can be written as 10 times 10, of course, which is same as 10 squared. Since it's 10 squared, at this point, all we have to do is figure out the factors of 10, other than, other than the 1 and the 10 itself. The prime factors of 10 are, prime factors of 10 are 2 and 5. 2 times 5 is 10, which is being squared which is same as 2 squared times 5 squared. There you go. 2 squared, which means 100 equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. But the prime factors are right here, 2 and 5. 2 and 5 are the only prime factors of 100. Now instead of 100, if we happen to have, if we happen to have 10,000, it wouldn't have changed anything. It wouldn't have changed anything. 10,000 can be written as 10 raised to 4 and 10 raised to 4, nothing would change, nothing would change here, everything would be the same. It's just that, oh, that should have said 2, 2 squared and th 2 squared and 5 squared, not 5 cubed. So if you happen to have 10,000, it will just be 10 raised to 4, which is 2 times 5 raised to 4, which is simply 2 raised to 4 times 5 raised to 4, but it doesn't alter the fact that the prime factors of 10,000 are still 2 and 5. Prime factor, prime factor of a million, prime factors of millions are still 2 and 5 because a million can simply be written as, a million can simply be written as 2 raised to 6, which is same as 2 times 5 raised to 6, which is simply 2 raised to 6 and 5 raised to 6, and therefore the prime factors are 2 and 5. Because if something repeats, we don't, we don't, if somebody asks us what, the, what are the prime factors of 1 million, we don't sit there and say 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So we don't have to say 6 times, only once. Prime factors are 2 and 5. If something repeats, we don't have to keep saying it again and again. That was it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.